Welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain SiteWorks training videos. In this video today, I want to explain what's called a site map. What I mean by a site map is when you set up your project, you have the ability to put in a background map along with your designs and your CSV file and anything else that you have in there. But what I want to explain with this process is why you may want it or why you may not. And if you do put in a project map, a site map in the background, some problems that it may cause for you. And this is just based on experience that I've had in the past, uh, both myself um, having them in the past and not understanding them and people I've helped out so far. So what I mean by a site map is in here where you have projects set up to actually create a project for SiteWorks. If you hit the plus button right here, we can go ahead and name this. We can just call this the uh, site tech um, site map test. Now I'm going to leave everything else in here the same. Uh, on the next page right here is where we would traditionally bring in either an FXL file, control points, uh, calibration, but right here at the top, this select map right here. If you select this, it allows you to bring in a DXF or a VCL file. Now if you bring in the exact same DXF or VCL file that you would be bringing in for your actual design, that's what I want to show you has caused some heartache for people um, because then it becomes a map in the background that always stays there depending on what uh, design that you load after that. And it's also unselectable line work, if you will. So let me show you. So we'll go ahead and check this box right here for the map and then we're gonna go and navigate to it and find it. So in my uh, Kingston here, I've got a couple different files. I've got a Northeast finish grade VCL, but I've also just got a finish grade. I'm gonna open that up and just show you what it would look like just to bring in a project finish grade, all that for my normal design as a DXF. If I bring that in and put that in there, I'll show you here in just a sec. I am going to go ahead and just bring in a couple of my control points um, just to show you what I've got here for control around the project. So sitemap and CSV, I'm not going to fill anything else out here. Um, throughout the rest of the creation here, you're just going to go ahead and put in um, a work order to get started. I'll just do calibration. Now on design, I'm going to go ahead and create a new design. I'm going to call it the North East Corner Finish Grade. What I'm going to do is, I have a VCL, but just to show you the same exact line work that I had just picked earlier, I'm going to go ahead and go grab my TTM for this project. So in that same uh, finish grade folder. I've got a TTM right here, so you can see dot TTM. And then my next box here, I'm going to go ahead and check, and I'm going to go grab the TT or the DXF. You can slide this over if you need to see it, or just select it, and then it'll show you there. So that's the exact same DXF as that I had before in the map. So we're going to go ahead and finish. My job site is set up. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and start it up here and hook up to a rover. I am just using an emulator here, so we're just going to go ahead and click through the bunch of this. Now, on my screen right here, you can see that is my project. That's the project that I wanted, meaning design. You can see my control points out and around here, so I've got my design. Well, what happens here is you don't realize that there is unselectable line work in the background until you either change job sites or, pro or excuse me, projects or something else changes to where you see the exact same thing. And what I mean by that is you can see all this line work on the screen right now. If I go ahead and go to project setup and change project and turn my design off so there is no design at all and hit accept, you're going to see the exact same line work right there. And here's where it's tricky is people will then zoom in or try to do whatever work they need to, and they'll realize, well, why am I seeing storm drain? That should have been another design. But if I try to select any of these lines um, through stake, there's nothing to stake. So if I hit my menu button and go to stake here, I should be able to normally select any of this line work and uh, actually use it as something to stake. What I'm getting at here is this is a design map that's just stuck in the background um, and it's unselectable line work. So if I were to go ahead and add another design, so let's change this and then I'm going to add in Storm Drain. Okay, so now that I've named it Storm Drain Northeast, I'm going to go ahead and go get my line work.
go grab my DXF right here for storm drain. I load that. Now, if I have that one loaded and hit accept, you're going to see the exact same thing on the screen where you've got a map and storm drain. The only way to get rid of that um, or to actually turn that off if, it's, if it is actually a map that's in there is on your gear on the right side right here. You can click that and you can see you've got a bunch of tabs on the top right here. Under your design option, there is a box for project map. You can go ahead and uncheck that box right there. So if you have the map in there, not the end of the world, you can see that it can be turned on and off. I just want to show to you um, what happens is if you have the map on, it's unselectable line work and people may select a line that's not available. So right here, this is just my design, my storm drain, and I have the ed edge of pavement in there is a reference. So all these lines, I can actually touch on and actually stake those, as you can see here. If I turned on the map and tried to do that same one right there, we'll go back to design, turn on map and hit accept, a lot of other line work shows up. For example, right there that didn't have the design, I can only I can only just free click. Every time I try to pick a line that's in here that I think is part of my design, it's all just a free click. So just something to be aware of with those maps. Just remember you can turn it on and off right here, but sometimes they get really confusing when it's the exact same line work between the map that was originally put in there and the design that is loaded. So hopefully this helps with understanding what they are. Um, one reason that people would use maps, in my opinion, from experience in the past is you sometimes do want to have like a perimeter fence or a perimeter line or something that is always on the screen no matter what, like maybe an avoidance zone that's not actual an avoidance zone, but it's just a boxed out area. Um, some people like to leave grid lines on in between designs but honestly if any of you are familiar with vcl files the vcl file is ultimately the best way to go with that because let me show you if you go ahead and load a project that has the vcl or a design that has the vcl we'll just name it that and then i'll go ahead and load that one in here If we load that VCL, which is going to populate both of those boxes for the old TTM DXF, now I can go ahead and switch in between the two different surfaces, existing and final. But this is where I think this would be really helpful for people if they want to have that ability, is now you can see there's the old topo in there from when we took the original ground in here. Um, so the design map is off, but in layers, you can come in here and you can turn on and off basically what you do and don't want to see. So if you want to turn off basically everything except edge of pavement, get rid of striping, you name it, this gives you the ability to turn that stuff on and off at will. And then you can select what you need to. So that, in my opinion, a VCL would take place of a, a project map that people would have used in the past. So there is no right or wrong to this. If you have any reasons why you think a map would be good, I'm not here to tell you not to. I'm just here to explain what that box means and if maybe someone else is providing the job site files for you or setting the job site up for you and you've always wondered why that there's there's line work that's unselectable it's because it's a map and it's not an actual line that you can select you can go to the root folder in the SCS 900 data for this project and actually delete out that DXF it's put in the root folder and not in the design or work order folder so if you come into your root folder right here, there's the site tech map test. If you come in here, you can see that there is a DXF file in here. And it's sitting in an area that normally wouldn't have a DXF. Normally those would be in your design folders right there. But if you need to, to get rid of your map, you can delete it right there. Hopefully this video from Site Tech Intermountain on site maps helps for site works. Um, thank you for watching.